Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to come in with a little bit of an opinions video. Let me highlight the word opinion. This is my opinion and you are more than welcome to share yours in the comments down below if you so choose to. A bit late to the game, but I wanted to share it anyway because this is something I've been sitting on for the last few weeks and I was umming and ahhing on whether or not I should talk about this, but I wanted to start a little bit of an open dialogue with you about this. As you can see by the title, I wanted to buy myself something from Tiffany & Co until I saw this. And this is a little bit of a commentary video and my opinion on the collaborations, the most recent collaborations that Tiffany & Co have done. Almost feels like back to back. They did a collaboration with Nike and they also did a collaboration with the NFL. What is the name of the designer? Please hold. And Mitchell Ness. <laughs> Um, so I want to share my opinion on this today. I want to start today's video with a little bit of self-awareness. I 100% am the first person to admit that I am an all or nothing type of woman, okay? I'm all or nothing and as morbid as this saying is, I am first to admit that I am very much a throw the baby out with the baby water type of person. Like I am an all or nothing type of person and this goes for shopping as well. Like if I see something or if something comes out that a brand does that I don't like, actually not even that I don't like, because I've seen brands release clothing that I don't like, so that's not what it is. If they come out with something that just feels like a cash grab or it just feels confusing or it just feels like not thought out or unnecessary, I then have a hard time wanting to shop with that brand. Let me know if you feel that same way. And this is how I feel right now with Tiffany & Co. What I didn't share with you, and I'll see if I can find the photos, I think I took some, but when I went to Italy, I was actually trying on some Tiffany & Co rings because if you watch my, I think it was my wish list video um, for 2023, I talked about wanting to purchase some rings. I talked about wanting just some more casual everyday rings. And a lot of you mentioned Tiffany & Co. And I have been someone who shopped with Tiffany & Co in the past. I own uh, one of their pendants and I also own a pair of their sunglasses. So I don't have a large Tiffany & Co collection, but I, so I'd say I did love the brand. I still do, I suppose, in some ways. But I just, I no longer feel like I want to buy those rings anymore. Like, I don't want to shop with them. I don't want to buy anything from them. And it is actually because of these most recent collabs. Um, and like I said, it's very extreme. I'm a very extreme type of person. But I want to get into my opinion on the collabs. And I want you to share yours in the comments down below. Because... I, again, first to admit, I don't know everything about fashion, okay? I'm not an expert in fashion. I didn't study fashion. I don't live, breathe, eat, and sleep it. I'm just um, a woman on the internet with an opinion. So I want to start by speaking about the Nike and Tiffany & Co collaboration. And I think we saw a lot of backlash for this particular collaboration online. And I did, especially on TikTok. And I almost feel like the added backlash and the and the sharing of opinions of that collab in a negative way also contributed to me just feeling really put off by buying myself anything from Tiffany & Co anymore. Um, and again, I have to say, I love Nike. I wear Nike. I own Nike sportswear. I own a pair of Air Force Ones. Just when I was in Italy, I went ahead and bought a faux fur Nike jacket. So this is where I think it's weird. <laughs> It doesn't put me off Nike. Someone psychoanalyze this for me. It doesn't put me off Nike. It puts me off Tiffany & Co. And I think it's, again, weirdly, because obviously I hold a bit of a double standard, probably because Tiffany & Co is <laughs> a hell of a lot more expensive than Nike. Um, but this collaboration, I just felt was really lackluster. And I also didn't really understand the connection. I didn't understand the connection. I'm very much someone who... I just love brands that stay in their lane, okay? I'm all supporting of brands that stay in their lane and do that, do what they do and know what they do best and just stick in their lane. I know in a world and in the business world, expansion and collaboration and expansion and growth uh, is obviously a good thing, but I just think that you don't always have to have your hand in every pocket. Um, Tiffany & Co, I don't think, I don't know about you, but when I think of Tiffany & Co, I don't think of sneakers. I don't think of like fashion in that sense. I think of jewelry as number one. I also think of sunglasses. Um, and I think of like home decor and those cute little blue cups. <laughs> um, I don't think of sneakers. For me, this Tiffany & Co and Nike collaboration really didn't make sense. Um, and I'd love to hear, again, if it made sense for you, share with me what exactly about it made sense. Because I'm not a fashion expert and it didn't make sense to me. The black with the blue tick, it just really felt quite uninventive and uninspiring and it just really put me off wanting to buy anything from the brand. And it's, that sounds so silly because 
they're known for jewelry mostly and I don't know why but like then when I would go look at jewelry and scroll through the website I would just think about this collab I would think about the shoes and I'd be like ugh, no I'm put off I don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a piece of jewelry now it may not make sense to you, but I'm very extreme in that in that department. Um, and following on from that, which I think made me completely have this stance, there was the collaboration with um, was it Mitchell Ness and Tiffany and Co for that uh, particular jersey that was obviously timed to be released around the Super Bowl. And I know a lot of you are probably massive football fans. American football is obviously such a popular and big sport. I mean, I personally don't follow it. I've been to a few games when I went to America, but living in Australia, I don't follow it like that. So maybe it's because I'm not American, let me know. Um, but that again didn't resonate with me very much but I know again that is probably I'm probably in the minority because I saw a lot of people on my social media unbox and share that but I just personally don't understand the connection like I get it they produced the Super Bowl trophy but I still just didn't feel like it was necessary and again maybe it is because I'm not American maybe it's that could very well be why, so I would love to hear if that's the case, like if you're American especially and this was just something that you went crazy for, let me know because I get it, it's American football, they create the trophies, you know, 57 it was to mark I think the Super Bowl and also the flagship street number or something, I don't know, it apparently has some specific um, meaning, but I just kind of thought they don't make fashion, they don't really have anything to do with clothing. I kind of would have preferred to see like a piece of jewellery if they really wanted to make it, you know, NFL linked. I would have liked to see something, maybe like a linkage there or maybe, you know, something in the home decor space or even sunglasses. I don't know. I just kind of thought that I would kind of have preferred to see something like that. I just think it's because I'm very much a creature of habit and what I know Tiffany & Co for is not clothing and I just felt like they just you know, the jersey, just, yeah, Tiffany & Co 57, 460 Australian dollars. It just felt really kind of like smashed and kind of thrown together. Um, and it didn't resonate with me. And I think that and then like the Nike and then that collaboration, it just all kind of hit me and I was like, oh, those collabs are really unexpected for me. And honestly, in a negative way, like I was a bit like, why? Um, and I think it is because I have such a negative opinion about a lot of collaborations and a lot of the excess and what a lot of them feel like to me are cash grabs and it just kind of feels like a lot of unnecessary noise um but again this is coming from me and my experiences living in australia if you do love streetwear you may very well have went crazy for these collaborations let me know in the comments down below if that's the case for you and yeah share with me any collaborations that just haven't sat well with you and maybe they just completely put you off the brand let me know if there's been any collaborations in the past that put you off the brand or if you're not that like <laughs> extreme as I. Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, thanks for listening to today's video. I know it's a bit of a shorter one. I really would love to hear what you have to say on this topic because I personally was not a fan. It's how I feel. So share with me how you feel in the comments down below. I'm going to have another one linked to you right here. If you haven't had enough of me just yet, feel free to join me over there. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!